Hey guys, this is Max from Avid Max, and today we're going to be tying the tungsten thin mint, very similar to the version that fly fish food ties. We're going to start out with a fire hole 811 in a size 6, the new fire hole tungsten beads, or the fire hole stones, fire orange and 532nd, strung marabou blood quills in brown, strung marabou blood quills in olive, blood quills in black, some flashaboo. Ice Dub UV Peacock Eye, and some Bard Brown and Black Schloppen from MFC. The thread is going to be a Vivas 12 lot in black. Today, using the new Loon Fly Tying Kit that we have here available at Avid Max, it comes with two pairs of scissors, a bobbin, a bodkin, dubbing spinner, whip finish tool. It's pretty got pretty much got everything you need in there. So. Uh, pretty excited to use that today. I'm going to start my thread just behind the bead. Some wraps to the back of the hook. Go ahead and snip my thread. So I'm going to take my thread almost all the way back to the, the bend of the hook or right where that barb would be on the barbless hook. So I've already prepared a piece of uh, marabou. I'm going to put the black on the bottom. And I just have kind of picked out some of those fibers to kind of thin out the feather a little bit. Gather it up. Kind of make sure my thread is all the way to the back here. And I want to measure it so that it's about the length of the hook shank. Since we're going to be adding a couple of different marabous here, I want to make sure that I don't get too bulky. Make some loose wraps, tighten it down a little bit. Make a couple more tight wraps. Up towards the bead. And then I can go ahead and trim that out. So once I got the black tied in there and secure, kind of clean up my wraps a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add piece of that flashaboo in there so that it kind of sticks in the middle of everything. So tie it in on the side closest to me. I'll fold it over and I'll work both of those pieces back so they kind of lay evenly on the side. Then once I add the other marabou in there, they'll kind of be trapped in the middle. That'll look pretty nice. Might do one more little piece of flash boo on top. Thing, work it back. I can go ahead and snip the rest of that out. So with my flash boo, I kind of want to make sure it's lining up even with the end of the marabou. And some of them, if they're a little bit longer, that's all right. Next, I'm going to take my piece of already pre-trimmed up brown marabou. Add that in there. So I'm just going to stack it on top, match them up with the black. I make some loose wraps to start so that I can kind of even them up and pull them around whichever way I need to. So once I got that kind of sitting on top, I can make some tighter wraps. And same thing, I'm going to hold the end of that feather and work it back up towards the eye. 
snip it out. So I'll work my thread back towards that bend. Now I can add my last piece of marabou in there. Same thing, kind of cleaned it up and trimmed it out. This one I want to splay a little bit around the sides of the fly. Make some loose wraps, kind of adjust it again. Shorten it up just a little bit. Now I make some tight wraps. And work that marabou up towards the bead. Snip it out. So now I'll just clean up the wraps. Back to the marabou. And I like that because it kind of adds a little bit of a base to the fly and makes it look a little more full. We got a large hook gap here with the, the 811, so can use that a little more sparingly. I'm gonna work my thread back to my loop. I'm gonna take my barge schloppen, I'm gonna tie it in right next to that dubbing loop. Make sure I get all those fibers trapped down. So once I got that tied in, I can do a quick whip finish just behind the bead. Get my thread out of the way. Once I got my thread out of the way, I take my peacock, peacock's eye, ice stub. And I'm gonna start adding that in my loop. Once I do that, kind of stack them up and I pull them apart so they're kind of more even. Now I'm gonna take my piece of schloppen together with my dubbing and I'm going to lay my schloppen feather down on top of my dubbing loop. I'm going to take my clip and clip the dubbing loop and my schloppen feather together. I'm going to unloop my dubbing loop. I'm going to spin them up together. So as I spin them, I really kind of comb out those fibers of the, the schloppen so they're not getting caught up, as well as the ice dub. And I kind of do a couple turns and I'll go back to it so that the loop is tightening down on my dubbing and I'm not just pulling it out. Couple more turns, comb it out. Make sure none of that marabou gets caught up in there. Continue combing it out so it looks nice and full. Once I got those 
kind of gathered up together. Go ahead and palmer it around. Keep pulling those fibers back. Getting all the trapped ones to lay back. Teasing them back each turn. Until I get up just behind the bead. I'm just behind the bead. Grab my thread again. And I'll capture my dubbing loop and the schloppen together. Pull everything back, work my thread right behind the bead. Can trim out my slopping feather. I did it nice and tight. Make a couple more wraps. Clean it up a little bit more. So it looks kind of messy, but then once you go back in with the brush, kind of pull everything back together, kind of clean itself up. Snip my tying thread. And there you have it. There's the ice stub thin mint. It's kind of like the classic one, but it's got a little bit more flash in there. If you liked the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and add a comment down below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out there.